off this podcast. It's showtime. Let's kick some ass. All your days are belong to us. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Three Hit Combo Podcast, the world's most moody podcast. I hate you. I fucking hate you. God damn it. Andy, I love you. What's up? I want to go home. My parents took my car keys away. My girlfriend, she, she didn't call me. How can this happen to me? <laughs> How can this happen to me? I played that when I was, uh, I, for, when I was streaming Final Fantasy IX a couple years ago. I would play music over certain scenes, <laughs> and when uh, Odin came down and destroyed, I forget the name of the town, but the it's, ma- that, it's that, that main tree city? town. Oh, not that town. All right. Yeah. Gotcha. When he came down, I played that in the background. I also played the Benny Hill theme when they were trying to escape the forest. Oh, that's a fun one. Those <laughs> trees run like Benny Hill. <laughs> nice. How's your week? Fantastic. Really? Well, I guess that's a, oh, okay. I guess that's an exaggeration. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's all right. You know? Been a week. Yeah, been a week. Played some Civ Five last night. That was fun. Is that game fast paced? No. 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 Not at all. Is it turn based? Yeah, I mean you take simultaneous turns, but you can't move on to the next turn until everyone is done. Gotcha. All right. So, like, if you were to make a move, I would see it. Uh, like, what, what would happen is if like I made a move, the only thing you'd be able to see is my name would go dark when I finished my turn. Gotcha. So, right. so like when I was done, I hit enter and my name would go dark and so then you can call out the people that don't end their term and actually last night i was playing with a couple friends and i for some reason i was singing backstreets back hey, all everybody right. yeah end your turn no. yeah <laughs> they get pretty pissed oh do you guys voice chat oh yeah nice what do you guys use uh skype, skype. we're using skype skype's so good yeah, Skype's great. It's so low resource too. Yeah. Um. Wh- what was really funny is I built the the Great Pyramid and the Great Wall, <laughs> and they built the Great Wall through the Great Pyramid. I took a screenshot nice. of it. Nice. <laughs> so it's like some architects stand there and like, well, they're not gonna make it up over this pyramid, <laughs> <laughs> so we could probably just save some resources. Let's just build the wall up to this pyramid. Right through it. <laughs> Sweet. Can you build Tesla coils? No. What kind of game is that? <laughs> what? What kind of inventing game is that? But uh, have Tesla coils. It's going pretty sweet, you know. I'm I'm Egypt. Nice. Yep. Oh, nice. That's a good one. Yeah, I was in the lead for the longest time, but now I'm behind by a point. Dicks. So. Dicks everywhere. Dicks everywhere. They're off my skin. I'm going for a cultural victory though, so hopefully no one attacks me. Oh, what? No one can find me. A cultural victory. Oh. Oh, okay. You told me that. Yeah, where like I build wonders, and in this game you have to get so much culture and then like adopt policies. I'll get your culture. <laughs> so uh, I'm on an island apparently where no one can find me. Oh. Because the two people I was playing it with were like, "Where the fuck are you, Matt?" Not bad. So I haven't built anything for an army. <laughs> nice. <laughs> They're gonna find you though one time, man. You're I know. Gonna... I got I got a queue of things I really need first, and then I'm gonna start building some defense. Can get doo dooed on. <laughs> Just got doo dooed. Skyler right here, get wrecked. Yeah, get wrecked. It's nice seeing him make Facebook posts. It is. It reminds us he's alive. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm not, I don't feel so far away from him now. I'm like, oh, I can keep up with Skyler. That's nice. He needs to get Skype. Yes, he does. And Civ so 5. Then we can play games. 3 hit combo. 3 hit combo, play Civilization 5. <laughs> Watch us be boring. <laughs> I'll end my turn. Now we. And now you can go ahead and take your turn. Yeah. Hey guys, I built a boat. <laughs> Come check out my boat. If you can find me. <laughs> what was also funny last night is one of my friends was getting really frustrated because I was beating him to wonders by like a turn or two. And so it, it got to the point where like um, in the game, if you haven't met someone, it'll say an unknown civilization has constructed blank right. wonder. And so he, of course, hadn't met me. So like when I would finish something, it would say unknown civilization has com- completed the great lighthouse. He'd be like, who did that? <laughs> <laughs> and every time I just go, what's up? <laughs> He's like, damn it. 
That'd be totally mysterious, but like, what? <laughs> or just go along with them. Who did that? Yeah, yeah, who did that? Damn it! <laughs> <laughs> and then when he finally meets you, you just have all those achievements. Yeah, you can also see my points jump after oh. I build a wonder. That that's a nickname I like for achievements. Cheevies. Cheevies. Got get some cheevies. Getting some cheeves. <laughs> 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 oh, <that's> stupid fucking <laughs> Chiefs. And uh, I started playing Red Dead Redemption again. Hey. <laughs> Just got to Mexico. Don't know how many times I've been called Gringo. But, uh. That mission where you go to Mexico on that life raft thingy, that's yeah. fun. Yeah, that is fun. The game's harder than I remember it being. It was a tough game. Yeah, it was. A, there's... I remember dying a lot on that raft. Oh, uh, yeah. I, I, I died a few times on that. I I went to save it though, and I hadn't played. My last save was from May twenty sixth, twenty eleven. Oh shit! So it's been a while. <laughs> Damn, that is a while. Nice. So yeah, it's been fun. That's cool. I've been addicted to Battlefield quite a bit. Do you need an intervention? No. Just I mean, I get I get all my schoolwork done. Do you so have a problem? Cool. No, I don't have a problem. That's what addicts say. <laughs> intervention, intervention, <laughs> intervention. Next week you're gonna show up to the podcast, and, like your parents will be here, <laughs> <laughs> Camilla, <gasps> Andy. We've been gathering you here today for this intervention. <laughs> Just, like, beep, boop, boop, boop. <sighs> All right, let's go. You ready? No, I've, I've been an unventful person lately. Nothing right. cool. Well, we got gaming news. Lots of gaming news. Yay! Let the games begin. Peasant consoles or glorious PC master race? Choose your side. You know what she did for fun when she was your age? She pushed a hoop with a stick. This is gaming news. With a stick. Poop. Sweet Jesus, Andy, it's finally happening. What? PS3. We'll be getting Dragonborn, Hearthfire, and Dawnguard. I wish you had the fucking Dawnguard. Skyrim uh, like clip. The Skyrim clip? Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, I think he took it off. Oh, the, the, the Skyrim job? Yeah, the Skyrim job clip. <laughs> yeah. I, unfortunately, I do not have that anymore. I could have, you know, if I thought about it. I have it saved. It's just not on the board. Um, Damn. It's finally happening in February. So we don't know when in February yet. But in February, um, it'll arrive to PS3. Now, it's arriving to PC on February 5th. Dragonborn is. PS3 will then be getting everything in February as well. Half off. Yes, half off for... All of it. It's only half off for so long. I think it's like the first week or something, like launch week. Yeah. Nonetheless, I will be there with Dragonborn. I think I'm just going to get Dragonborn, actually. I heard that's the most substantial. You're not going to get Dawnguard? No. I heard I heard the Dragonborn's the most substantial expansion. So. Not going to get Dawnguard at all? i waiting eight months for it after it came out on 360? Nope. No? No. I don't just, don't feel like it. No, I don't just, feel I just like want it Dragonborn. That's all. Oh, 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 Andy Valve confirms recent screenshots of Half Life Episode Four. Yeah, are legit. Did I send you this? No, wow. actually, but I but found I it on it. Screw Attack. Yeah, Valve has confirmed that recent leaked screenshots showing off a potential Half Life Two Episode Four are indeed legit and was being developed by Arcane Studios developer of Dishonored, before being canceled around 07, 08. I think good. Good? Yeah. What, you want another Half-Life game, Andy? Yeah, but I don't want it to be made by not Valve. Andy, you're an adult, right, Andy? You know what? You know what? That's, that is exactly like um, Bungie. And 343, everybody's like, no, Bungie's leaving. V but 343 three is Bungie, pretty much. That is true. The Let's people from 343 three were the people that had been working on Halo and didn't want to leave it. I don't got another one, then. But, uh, Andy, as an adult, you realize you just can't... That's like always, a port. That's like a port of Half-Life. You can't get what you want, Andy. It's a port of Half-Life. That's what that would have been. Andy, Half-Life's not even that good. Fuck you. <laughs> it took a minute to sink in there. I was like, what did he say? What did you fucking say? What was that? I play Half-Life on a yearly basis. The whole series. Yearly basis. I play Super Mario Bros. 3 every year. See, everybody's got those games. And mine is Half-Life. <laughs> All right. I mean, you just waste a power of a year on a series. It's not that good. Whatever. Back the fuck off. <laughs> and it's more like a Andy's week. Andy was staring me down there. 
fire in my eyes. <laughs> I was Double scared. King, Double valve. <laughs> High five. Dude, is like, what would be your reaction if they finally announced Half Life Three? <laughs> I would be really happy and probably I'd actually probably call you. Not I, text you or link you. I would call you. I, I I remember us talking about it. Like if I found out before you, I was just gonna call you and go, It's happening. <laughs> <laughs> but you won't. I am I am up to date. <laughs> Why haven't they made a Half Life Three? I'm really hoping that it's because of Source Two. <laughs> I'm really. I, I feel like that's a legit question. Like, like what's up? And every time someone's like, "So, what about episode 3 They're like, "We're working on it." That's their only fucking. That's their like only fucking answer. Or it, it's there. <laughs> yeah, it's just like you know they have the resources. Yeah, you know they have the money. But no, no, you know, you know, it requires more time. Dota two. Yeah, you know. Make more hats. Yeah, about that, make some know. more fucking hats. <laughs> I swear to God, if they make a Left 4 Dead 3 before they make Half-Life 3, I might fucking blow a gasket. Like, I, I'll come to the pod, like, they'll announce it, I will come to the podcast with one bloody eye, like, because the blood vessels had popped in my eye. That'd be the greatest trolling moment in all of gaming. Did you also see that they confirmed that they are making a fucking Ricochet 2? No. Yes. Interesting. Yeah. If okay. that came out before episode, or Half-Life 3, I would... What the fuck, man? <laughs> damn it, Valve. Fucking damn it. It's going to turn out like Duke Nukem forever. Yeah. And, it, and of course, it's... I just hope it doesn't suck. <laughs> it's got... See, that's the thing that, like, you want to wait a little bit so people are, like, are anticipating yeah. it. Like, you know, so many games are released on a yearly basis. You don't really have yeah. much. Oh, 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 yeah. oh. But if you wait too long... People are going to be expecting something 04. fucking amazing. Oh four is when episode two came out. Yeah, so we're coming up on nine years. Yeah, that's longer than it took for them to make Half Life two. Yeah, so people are going to be expecting something pretty amazing. Like people were, you know, joking like, "Oh, Duke Nukem Forever better be able to cure blindness and stuff <laughs> like that." You know, it's just like <laughs> that game was horrible. Still haven't found it below four dollars though. It wasn't on. It was on. Steam, it was on right? Steam, but. That when it was on sale, I didn't have the computer at the time to play it. All right, I'm sure it'll be on sale again. Yeah, shit, they might even just give it to you. You know what? You won't be able to find online is uh, too human. It's been removed from Xbox li- Live Those games on demand. Poor guys. <laughs> That's every time I see something that has to do with too human, I just I'm like those poor guys. I mean, they fucked up themselves, but. Those poor guys. As some of you may remember, Silicon Knights not only unsuccessfully sued Epic Games, they claim the Unreal Engine didn't work as promised, but Epic Games countersued, and Silicon Knights had to destroy and stop Physically producing... Physically destroy the discs of two human. Uh, anything using Unreal Engine 3. Yeah. Oh, anything? Oh, my bad. My Any, bad. Anything they had made using Unreal Engine 3. Oh, and man. I there was a couple other games, but two human was the big one. I... Back to that, and I know we said it before. I remember that game had huge hype. It did have a lot of hype. That had so much hype. That was one of the, one of the games that really didn't live up to the hype. Yeah. Like, oh yeah. I remember Austin being really into that. Like, oh dude, two humans gonna be amazing. Oh, it looks so good. And then, and lo and behold, all right. Another thing, just to jump back to Valve really quick. Yeah. Valve is really good. At what? I just got a text from Skyler. Oh, what did he say? He said, "Watching the game." No, Dick. doing a podcast. I think he meant to say the game. Well, he said watching, but oh, do you continue, think he, continue do you with think what he means doing. our stream? Ah, fuck it. Um, but I remember the anticipation and the hype for Half Life Two was insane, and that game lived up to it. So that's my only hope. Yeah, is that Valve can build something to live up to it. Red Dead Redemption was that game that I didn't realize. That was kind of a sleeper. It it, it was in the fact that. Like, Red Dead Revolver wasn't very good. Yeah. It wasn't very good at all. And, like, people were like, dude, this game is so good. It's going to be awesome. I'm like, really? And I don't remember this... Rockstar making Red Dead Revolver. Did they make Red Dead or did they buy the license? They might have bought the license. Because I don't, because that doesn't make any sense. Like, didn't, did Rockstar make Gun? Because I remember Ooh. Gun and Red Dead Revolver came out at the same time. They might have made Gun. Gun was a lot better. But, uh, 
Yeah, I was. That's what I thought. I was like, Red Dead Redemption or Revolver sucked. I was like, that's not something Rockstar would do. Yeah, they don't make bad games. Yeah, it was developed by Rockstar. Oh. Does it say Rockstar North? Rockstar San Diego. Oh, okay, that's their second good one. Yeah, it's Rockstar San Diego, published by Rockstar Games and Take Two Interactive. Really? Oh, and Capcom in Japan. Oh, okay. <laughs> Who did Gun? That's... I know it's Activision is the publisher, but um. Wow, that's like the one bad game, or the one eh game Rockstar's made. Gun was made by Neversoft. Oh, okay. Tony Hawk dudes. Yeah, yeah. It was published by Activision. All right. Gun was fun. Yeah, Gun looking at the screenshots, that looks pretty cool. Yeah, it was a fun Yeah, they did game. come out about the same time, and I couldn't... Yeah. I didn't really... wasn't able to differentiate between them, really. George bought Gun, and that's... And then I played that, and I'm like, dude, this game's fucking fun. But yeah, yeah. Red Dead Redemption made up for that i guess eh, game yeah because red dead revolver here they said reception red dead revolver received mostly mixed reviews uh and i don't think around it was, 74 I don't think it was open world either that sucks i thought it was like kind of linear gameplay what you looking up i uh, just the jump from red dead revolver to red dead redemption oh, okay. in terms of metacritic scores I know Red Dead Redemption did well. So it was a 74 out of 100 for Red Dead Revolver, and it was 95 out of 100 for Red yeah. Dead Redemption. That's a pretty big jump. And that game had a good story, too. You connected when they... The game's been out forever, when they killed John Marston. Dude, I haven't beat it. I knew. I yeah. knew. You know who fucking ruined it for me? Tom. Yeah, Tom really? at work, he beat it before I did. And he's like, man, it sucked when they shot John Marston. I'm like, the fuck, dude? Like, the middle of line. Like, Jerome was like, Andy, go in the back. <laughs> That's awesome. I was oh, I was invested in that fucking game, too. Um, the text message I got just uh, wants me to tell everyone that the kiss says, good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Skyler. Oh, that's our Skyler. What do we got next? The House has introduced Bill HR 287 to make the ESRB legally binding. Now, right now, a lot of places, like if you go to GameStop or something, you're, Andy, let's just say for this you're 14. All right. You need to pretend to be 14, Andy. Pokemon was great. I don't know. I, how old are we? Freshman? Is that, is that for? Everyone pile into my mom's Escalade. Let's go to Village Point. <laughs> the GameStop there is sweet. <laughs> Yeah. Apparently, when I was 14, I sounded like Mickey Mouse. <laughs> ha ha! Jump of the Escalade, ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, here we go, ha! Go pre <laughs> pre-order some games, ha ha ha! Mom, Grand Theft Auto 3 just came out, ha ha! <laughs> but right. right now, companies, it's it's not legally binding. Um, you can get in trouble with your company, like like GameStop. They yeah. have a, they have a policy in place. Yeah, like if you like sell that. a mature game to someone that's 14, you can get fired, but. You're not going to get fined or jail time. Yeah. But now there's a bill being introduced to make it legally binding. Yeah, that, not good. <laughs> you know, it, it is good in a lot of ways, but this article also mentions the fact that it's probably going to have a really hard time of passing. Yeah. Oh. Or upholding it, too, I think. Because uh, California tried to do the same thing. It got shut down pretty quick. Oh, did they? Yeah. Oh, okay. But what it would do is it would make it illegal. Yeah, but they didn't have the school shooting and the mall shooting. And yeah, I guess that that's true. Shit. But they would make it illegal for anyone under the age of 18 to buy um, a mature rated game and any person under the age of 17 to buy a – or no, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Eight, anyone under 18 can't buy an adult-only game. Anyone under oh, 17 can't buy a I was going to say, game. I thought mature was 17. Yeah, yeah, so mature would be 17. Speaking of mature games, I was 16 and then tried to buy Crackdown. Yeah. literally three days before my birthday <laughs> and they wouldn't sell it to me but i was with austin he was like can i buy it <laughs> <laughs> i have a good story like that i was at gamestop i think i was picking up uncharted 2 and another big mature rated game came out. oh not at the same time but gears had war gears of war came out like mm -hmm. a couple weeks prior well i was in there picking it up and this kid came in and uh wanted to buy it and he's like i can't sell it to you you're underage and the kids started like fucking knocking over displays and shit he's like fuck you guys so like, i could buy what i want and hey, fuck that kid yeah <laughs> and i turned around i'm like are you are you fucking kidding and the kid like flipped me off and all this other people i'm like know your fucking age limit dude I, I like how it's like 
no, you're too young for this mature game. And he starts doing immature shit, like yeah. flipping people off and, and throwing down displays. Like, it's like, you see? You see why you can't have it? <laughs> like, he's doing his job, man. Yeah. I, I, I fucking hate people that their job gets harder because they're doing their job. Yeah. That's fucked up. Anyways, yeah. yeah. I've had I've actually had a lot of experiences with like underage kids trying to buy shit and they get mad. Like really? I've been around. Huh. Like I was one I was with someone when uh his mom uh, it must have been his older sister or something. It did not look like his mom, but his mom was gonna buy a mature rated game. I don't know what it was. But uh the kid tried to buy it first. They didn't let him. So then the like the sister or Anne or whatever the fuck she was tried to buy it and because he was with her they wouldn't let him buy it too. Really? Yeah. That seems weird. Oh. Because it seems like you can't sell it to someone that's not of age, but Well, I mean Like that's that's like the same as me trying to buy alcohol underage, and then they're like, no. And then I go to like my bo- brother right behind me and I'm like, hey, buy this for yeah, me. Yeah. I mean I guess I don't see it quite. But I guess as it's not like a legal that, you know? illegal thing yet. And if they were to make it legally binding, yeah. then I could understand it. Yeah. Opinions. Yeah, but the reason I would love it to be legally binding is so I wouldn't hear as many kids on yeah. Xbox Live yelling at me. Or then they're fucking moms. Yeah, I mean, someone will buy it, but you know. Andy, the multiplayer servers for Halo 2 PC will be shut down next month. Oh, no. You know what is fun? What's what up? George turned me on to? Portable Halo, the original for PC. There are still, like, hundreds of servers. And it is fun as shit. You can still play it on, like, Xbox Connect. You have to not oh. connect with the K. It's connect, like, spelled the appropriate way. Um, I remember Stefan was playing on that before we got Xbox Live. He's like, it's like a free Xbox Live, dude. <laughs> you can still get on there and play Halo 1 and Halo 2. Oh, nice. But there were literally... 343 did a, like, a server sweep or what they call it, just yeah. scanning to see who's playing. Literally, there was 20 people. Oh. <laughs> and they're like, yeah. The Halo 2 P. So, did they take over all... Yeah. Everything, everything, from everything with the Halo license. Okay, went, so that's... went to well, actually went to Microsoft, but three four three is the one working on it. So they they controlled the servers then. Yep, they got everything. And Twenty people were playing. <laughs> yep, and they're like, oh, maybe we don't want to keep them up for this. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Andy, there's a rumor swirling around that Sony might move away from the DualShock controller. I don't like that. I don't like that one bit. I am not pleased. They're talking about maybe doing a, a tablet thing like the Wii U. Oh, fucking no. Fucking no, man. That DualShock is a perfect goddamn controller. I also heard of like a Vita, like playing it with the Vita with the screen. Like doing that. Yes. What you mean like use the Vita? Yeah, as like a use controller? the Vita so like a controller basically. And then the screen would be a touch screen. It'd be smaller than the Wii U's controller, but it would still be the same thing. As long as it was comfortable and not heavy, I would be all right with it. But no. <laughs> I don't I want en- it. I enjoy the Dual Shock. That is a good controller. It's okay. You shut your whore mouth. 360s is better. Just no, no. Much better. No. You know what? The PlayStation has had that du- that same design from the beginning. You know what Xbox had? Big fucking Bertha. But it was the same layout. They just made it smaller. God, why did they make that so big? I don't know. I really want to <laughs> like. I want to email it. somebody and just be like, "Why did you make this so the, big?" They probably had like Andre the Giant or something <laughs> as their beta. Hey, this is good. I like this. It's a little small. <laughs> 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 we got to make it bigger. You can kill a little kid with that thing. <laughs> and then, yeah, I I did like how the w- they did the change from Xbox to Xbox 360, and then just gave us. I do. I give us shoulder buttons. I do say I do enjoy the 360 controller. Like I use it on my PC when mm-hmm. I play games. I do enjoy it. It's a, yeah. It is a good controller. The black and white buttons were like a good idea, I guess. Yeah. But just move those to the shoulder. Yeah. And that's what they did. But I mean, it, it, they're both they're both good controllers, I guess. I like PlayStation. Hey, you know what's a good controller? The Wii controller. (laughs) (laughs) Hey, hey, remember the N64 and the GameCube? How did they get away with that? I got some texts from uh, the (laughs) Kith. What do you say to you? Do you look ass? Question mark. Right after. Ladies love it when you look ass. (laughs) Text from from Skylar on 3-Hit Combo. 
Tell him to get Skype so we can Skype him in someday. All right. Ah, oh, that'd be nice. It would be nice. Speaking of Skype, Microsoft. This is another rumor. Microsoft is planning on replacing Xbox Live chat system with Skype. I think that'd be good. Yeah. I think not? that'd be a great idea. And they're talking about being able to do it multi, like computer to 360 okay. and stuff like that. Which I I I would yeah. support that. Shit, I don't mind not? it. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. Good for them. I know Microsoft owns Skype now. So yeah. Bought I bet, it, bought I it bet. for eight point five billion. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Um, that was a good acquisition on their part, actually. Yeah, that was a really good. Buy. They're they're talking about merging Windows Live Messenger with Skype. Oh, I, I guess not merging it, but like Skype has a decent chat system. But they're like, maybe you guys should just go yeah. over here. Maybe like moving your username <laughs> and contacts and stuff in there. That'd be cool if they integrated Skype into Live, where your Skype account meshes with your xbox live mm-hmm. account so you wouldn't have to like log into live and then log into skype yeah but uh when it comes to the windows live messenger thing the only thing i can think of is what i said what, like a year ago no one uses windows live messenger Nobody come does. on why are you even spending the time to do I that i can't believe aol messenger is still around do you remember what was it called like aim express aim yeah. Oh, the one where you could... It, it, like, it was like the browser-based yeah, one. Yeah, the browser-based like if, one. If you were at someone's house. Do something. you remember... It was a browser... Mebo or Mego or something? It was like you could log into all of them at once. Yeah. I. Oh, I remember using Trillion. I remember Trillion, but it, this was a browser-based. Okay, it was browser-based. Yeah. yeah, I had Trillion up until like two years ago, I think. I used Trillion for a while. For IRC, I used Trillion. Yeah, I would. Uh, I was like logged in like IRC and uh, AIM and Facebook and – did I say Twitter already? Twitter. No. Okay, Twitter was the other one. It was kind of neat, but then it kind of just – now everyone I know is on Skype anyway, so I just, I'm on Skype. It Like I said, they have a good chat system too. They do. It's a really good one. Yeah. Those guys made out, man. Made out with who? No, just – like bandits, like they got a lot of money for Skype. And that Skype, Skype and Microsoft made up. Yes. <laughs> All right, Andy, let's go into technology news. No one cares, old man. It's time for technology news with three hit combo. Andy, have you tried Mega? It's back. <laughs> Oh, I haven't yet because I'm waiting for, I saw on his uh, Twitter that they're in the process of getting all the user accounts back and I have premium with them still. So nice. I tried getting onto the site, but I guess a lot of people like it cause I, 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 I did, I did browse it and uh, like it, I browse, like I found a website with the countdown mm-hmm. and so it was maybe like 30 minutes after the countdown ended that I checked it out, but it's smooth. I haven't tried uploading the, anything yet because I, once again, I'm waiting for my account, but uh, yeah, it looks nice and I can't wait to, I can't wait to mess with the security just to like, like yeah. see how it works and everything. Well, I got a few tidbits in this article here right. on Gizmodo. Uh, first of all. Is this from our boy that we always get stuff from? Oh, let me check. Eric? Nope, this is from Mario. Oh, okay. Uh, The terms and conditions basically absolve Mega for any liability whatsoever. I know, it's awesome. So it's all on you, (laughs) which I guess I don't really give a shit, you know what I mean? Yeah, but their security is so ridiculous. Yeah, they they break down their security pretty good right here. Let me find it real quick. Um... You now you basically you have a file manager which you really didn't have for Mega Upload before. You had a bunch you of links. So you sort of did, but it was shitty. Yeah, so, but this one has a pretty looks like a pretty decent file manager. It's all cloud storage. Um, basically, what it does is all your files are encrypted locally before they're uploaded. So Mega has no idea what anything you're uploading is. D- does it go into details how the encryption's made? I don't think so. It's no. interesting. It's keystrokes and. Like movements of your mouse is part of the encryption. Really? So if you were to move your mouse like up, down, left, right, that creates a certain encryption with those things and whatever keys you hit. <laughs> That's part of the like 2048 bit or whatever. Wow. Now Mega has no idea what you're uploading. It could be family photos or an entire discography of your favorite. Which band. that's really fucking smart on their part. To be yeah. like, I don't know what's on here. And then it's online, easy to share, and importantly, Mega doesn't have the decryption key to get in. 
Yeah, only you have it. Yeah, so they can't get in. So basically it says nobody can access your stuff without your personal decryption key. And if they don't have it, only you do, so you can't get in. The company does not have it either. However, they stipulate in their policy that they will they they might cooperate with law enforcement. But the big deal with that is is what are they going to turn over? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Here you go. Yeah. Take this man. Good luck. Man, that is so fucking cool. Fucking Kim.com, man. Mega Upload. I love the shit out of Mega Upload. I'm so fucking glad it's back. <laughs> I'm so happy. Love it. And I just, I love the no nonsense, I don't give a fuck attitude of Kim.com, too. It's That's pretty awesome. Funny. He's yeah. pretty fucking over the top. He's, yeah. He has made a lot of money. Yeah. He is loaded. Holy yeah. shit. And I think it's hilarious that they totally botched the whole, like, investigation on Mega Upload 2. Yeah. Love it. They done goofed. <laughs> they done goofed. Overstock.com CEO Patrick Byrne was busted in Salt Lake City International Airport because he tried to carry a Glock 23 in his carry-on bag. Oh, my God. Loaded, mind you. Byrne was stopped at security with a handgun, and according to sheriff's office logs, um, he was booked this past Wednesday for carrying a concealed weapon. He says he didn't know the gun was in his bag. How do you not know a gun is in your Especially bag? Especially loaded. You had to lo- I call bullshit. <laughs> Where's my gun? <laughs> Like, that's something that's important, you know? When I pack, I, like, double-check everything that's in my suitcase. Yeah, it's it's like losing track of your phone. Yeah. Like, if someone's like, hey, your phone's in this bag. Oh, I didn't know my phone was in the bag. Oh, shit. It's like something that... Yeah. That's something you gotta know where it is. Or, like, your wallet. Especially, yeah, a gun. It's what, you're right. You have to know where it is at all yeah, times. You gotta know where it is. That's something fucking dangerous. Yeah. A, a loaded gun, and you're like, mm, where'd I put that, you know? Yeah. I call bullshit. But police do think that there was not any criminal intent, so... Yeah. Sorry, he won't be charged for anything. Man. What do you got? Oh, I got a Skyler. He says, I find it easiest to masturbate with a condom on. No mess that makes your dick smell like a hospital. Is, Is Skyler drunk? Yeah, he he told me. All right, so I texted him, like, hey, get Skype so you can go on the podcast. He's like, Audi right now. But I totally have Skype on my... Oh, okay, so he does have Skype on his lap. Oh, that's probably how he talks to Eric. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he's he just of some weird fuck. Is he drunk? <laughs> Skyler yeah. drunk. What if these are all his experiences that happened while he's in the Navy? Oh, God. <laughs> and final thing in uh, technology news. There wasn't really a lot of good stuff yeah, this that's week. Right. But a guy out of Russia put a USB drive in his shovel. I saw a picture of that. <laughs> That's so fucking unnecessary. It is. And it like has to be held up. There's a picture yeah. of here. There's a picture here with it plugged into the front of the computer. Yeah. And it's like held up by bricks. <laughs> <laughs> it's yeah. <laughs> and I, I do like the comment by I know software. This guy obviously digs data. <laughs> That's like five dollars. <laughs> That's awesome. USB in a shovel. <laughs> I'm ready for some news. Let's do it. News team, assemble! And now it's time for the three hit combo news desk with Matt, Andy, and Scott. Hey, Scott. Andy, I got to start with this, and I, I love the fact that I'm able to talk about sports on this podcast. Did you hear about Monte Teo's girlfriend? Yes. What the yes. fuck? What? I love that he came out finally. He was like, I had no hand in the bull fucking shit. He did admit in an interview when he found out he started tailoring parts of the story to seem less embarrassing. Something like that. But yeah. how? Yeah. What a, a, such a talented dude, too. Basically, here's the story for people that don't know. And even... It was a pretty big story, yeah. so a lot of people got to know. But he apparently had a long distance relationship with this this woman named she was in California. She was right? in California. Right. Her name was like Lene Kakua. Right. So basically, what what his story was is that they met at a Stanford game when Notre Dame went to play Stanford in two thousand nine, and since then they have been talking on the phone ever since, and they started dating in early twenty twelve, and then. She was in a car accident, was in a coma, 
recovered from the coma, then got leukemia and died. And died six hours after his grandma died. Now, his grandma actually did die, but this girlfriend did not because she literally did not exist. <laughs> it was a hoax. Oh, my God. And who is playing this hoax? It's just so weird. Like, who was on the phone with them? Who They used some late girl's picture off Facebook. She was just like, <laughs> she was like, well, that's not me, but. <laughs> All right. And, like, because he was saying stories like when she was in the hospital or something, like when she would get out of her coma or something, like. He would stay on the phone with her while she slept. So who is using their phone yeah. and just being like, I'm going to put that over there. <laughs> you know, and then, like, you got to be careful of, like, any noise. Yeah. Like, if, like, <laughs> like you put the phone down, go turn on the blender. You're like, <laughs> oh, shit, the phone's still on. <laughs> it's so fucking weird. Yeah. I heard one, one I guess, hypothesis that uh, he used it as a cover-up because he's gay. That's one hypothesis I heard. It might be. So like, I have a girlfriend. It's, it's, and then that, just escalated from there. It's pro- That's probably going to be the hardest place to come out. Like a yeah. F- football team. Yeah. Yeah. But dude, it just. <laughs> this thing. It was. The story was broken by Deadspin. Which. You that website's some, great. You have some balls to write that story, <laughs> man. You really. You have to really know what you're talking yeah. about. Because if you were to publish a story saying. Hey, he faked his dead girlfriend, and then it turned out he didn't. Yeah. Then you, you're like, oh. They they must have had some good researchers, dude. What they did find out was that, and, and the news reported this for months. Like, ESPN would do a story like, oh, Monte Teo's girlfriend passed away. Oh, it's sad. Let's talk to Monte. And did he go along with it, too, when they would talk to him? Well, the thing is, he apparently didn't find out until December that that she, that she didn't exist. That was his story. That he didn't find out till December that she didn't even exist. When she got a phone number, or phone number, she got he got a phone call from the phone number that had previously been hers. So he was like, "Hey, I recognize that number. That's my dead girlfriend." And he answered, and basically the voice on the line said something like, "I'm not dead." Yeah. So did what if she? What if he's fucking crazy and she faked her dead? What like, well the thing was there was no, there was no obituary, no oh, report, yeah. um, nothing in the Stanford newspaper that she had passed away. Yeah, that's fucking crazy. That is that is really crazy. Another news, uh, one Bali McDoper. <laughs> that I find that really interesting. Also, by the way, we ha- we got to talk about tailing. Have you seen that yet? Where no. where people just put their arm around nothing and they're like, "Here's my girlfriend" or something, you know, no. like T bowing. Yeah, remember T bowing? Yeah. Well, Taoing now is just taking a picture <laughs> with your <laughs> arm around nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that poor guy. <laughs> um, but yeah, Lance Armstrong. That's I find that like the hell. Like, yeah, he's been accused of it for years and years and years and years, and finally he's like, "All right, fine." Yeah, I just did it. Fuck it. And the fact that he was like, oh, yeah, I, I did it f- 2005 and previous, but after I came back from cancer, I didn't do it. It's like, really? You didn't? And what I also heard is that he can be prosecuted in some way if he did use steroids during the 2009 and 2010 races because the statute of limitations is five years. All right. But the 2005 races, he can come out and say he used steroids and nothing happened except his get his title stripped away i just i on one hand like i feel bad for him that sucks that does suck but you know yeah you you done goofed i don't think he should have he necessarily needed to step down from live strong though yeah i mean it's kind of like two separate things really like live strong actually had a purpose but i mean yeah but it, like, it, it if, looks bad. It it, made her. if you cheated in, you know, cycling, then yeah, sure, strip the titles, but you don't got to step down from your company. Yeah. Oh well. All right, Andy. A man found a twelve-pound gold nugget missed by hundreds of prospectors. Where? He found this in Australia. Twelve pound. I'm gonna have to find specifically where in Australia, but I know it's Australia. It's a pound less than my penis. <laughs> Vic- Vic- hey, Victoria, Australia is where he found it. 
There's some creepy bugs in Australia. Dude, there's creepy everything in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> That's a nope country. Yeah. It's uh, 12 pounds. It was buried under only 23 inches of dirt. Really? Yeah. All right. That's the total price for this thing is 300 grand. Yes, good for them. Now, they say right now at current market prices 12 pounds of gold will get you roughly 300 grand in US dollars, but apparently it could reach a higher price because it's such a weird discovery. It's not like you found a bunch of nuggets and eventually got 12 pounds. You literally have a 12 pound nugget. Yeah. It's huge. I'd ask 500. It, it looks I'd like ask a, half a million. It looks like a like a deformed pumpkin or something, you know. It kind of looks like something you'd see in Egypt back in the day. Yeah, it does. Yeah. So that's what, what if he just like donated it to a museum? He's like, here, you guys could have this. Nope. <laughs> yeah, nope. Where's my nope. money? Nope. 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 Where's my money? <laughs> All right. Twelve pounds. What's this podcast at? Forty minutes. Oh, I'm on the last story. It can be a short one. We can have short ones. No, we can't, Andy. Dude, no, we it's... can't, Andy. Jesus fucking Christ, Skyler. <laughs> what do you say now? All right. Let me let me open it up. It might be longer. Did you know right now, including benefits, I'm getting paid about 40K a year, and you guys are giving it to me. I spend it on porn and Mountain Dew. Murka. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to know I want you to know what supplies the taxpayers are buying for me so I can keep Murka safe. <laughs> <laughs> I like how he's not even here and he's the funniest member of the podcast. <laughs> he's, not even, he's not even in the same state. <laughs> oh my God, Skyler. All right, well, let's go to Florida. Yes! Andy, KU Boobs has inspired fan boobment. A fan boobment. What's KU it's a, it's Boobs? It's a playoff movement, by the way. I, I got you, but what I'm, play, I am more confused over what KU boobs are. clever because I put boob in where move should be. <laughs> <laughs> KU boobs. It uh, here's the origin. Now this is for the Kansas basketball team. Here's the origin of KU boobs. Boobies. Yeah. On a Saturday afternoon in a sports cathedral known as Allen Fieldhouse, our beloved Kansas Jayhawks were facing certain defeat from the evil Missouri Tigers in a final battle for supremacy. Thousands of Jayhawk faithful watch helplessly as the border ruffians from Missouri sought to pillage and disgrace our beautiful cathedral. Far above the Golden Valley, glorious to view, one woman had enough. She channeled the power inherent in all true Jayhawk fans to resurrect the Jayhawks from a 19-point deficit to a stunning one-point victory. So the they power won. was KU boobs. <laughs> so literally, it's a Twitter account where people who, alumni, fans, students, basically just wear a Kansas shirt right. and poster cleavage i support this now this has actually sparked a bunch of other ones too there's uh <laughs> university of florida boobs bama boobs, <laughs> bama boobs. <laughs> vandy boobs arc boobs <laughs> hey brother bama boobs there's even one for the missouri team that was apparently defeated by the first ku boobs movement i don't know if they call it missouri boobs Mizzou boobs or tiger boobs. <laughs> Mizzou boobs. I like tiger boobs. That's tiger boobs sounds weird. Like, yeah. <laughs> what are you doing? Searching tiger boobs. <laughs> Get out of my house. <laughs> Have you heard of the other Twitter fad, the ugly face or hot chicks make ugly faces? No. It's apparently a new thing. It's like really hot chicks who make like like disgusting <laughs> looking <weird> faces. faces. <laughs> That's awesome. K what's that had to do with Florida? Uh, I found it in the Florida section. All right. So, that's all I had. I got distracted by boobs. That's literally all I could find, so that's why. Damn, Florida, get your shit together. Listeners in Florida, go, rob, go that, rob something naked or, I don't know. Go that ahead. was the segue. Like, the only Florida story I could find was about Kansas. Go, like, fucking mate with a crocodile or something. It basically came from, like, the Miami Times blogs. It was like, University yeah. of Florida boobs, and it, it said it, and then the... It'll link to this article. So. Gotcha. I follow. You following me? Yeah. So, go for it. We, we, should start, we should start 3HC boobs. Just you and me just pushing <laughs> our chest together. Boobs! Oh, I was just thinking, you know, fans could send in their cleavage. And we would have better episodes. What do you got here for I me? I got that for you. Someone's skull. Why is it all fucked up? I don't know. I found it in a uh, storage unit. 
Were you, were you going picking? No, we were dropping stuff off at work at a storage unit, and that was on the ground. Why is it for me? I don't know. Because I had it in my pocket. You can throw it away. I don't give a shit. Get it. I'll throw it away later. <laughs> oh, apparently Skyler's not drunk. He can't drink yet. He has to earn it. That sounds like that sounds like he's in a frater- fraternity. 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 A fraternity. You gotta earn a pledge. <laughs> Put this wiener in your mouth, and you can have some beer. No. <laughs> Dude, that's why I think fraternities are stupid. I can go on about that for a long time, but it's like, <laughs> how would you let a bunch of grown men spank you to be in a club where the, all they're going to do is nothing? Yeah, and you have to pay, usually. Yeah, and you have to pay. Well, get you know, late, my bro. grandfather was sodomized, and my father was <laughs> sodomized, and, uh, well, I was too to get into this club. Cool. With what? A baking paddle. <laughs> A lampshade. Well, shit, Andy. That's that's all she wrote. Oh, well, we can have a short one. We can have them every now and then. No, no, Andy, it's not. Well, what the fuck are we going to talk about for like ten more minutes? Hello, my baby. <laughs> Three combo renditions. <laughs> classic hits. Hello, my baby. Hello, my darling. Hello, my blue suede shoes. <laughs> <laughs> no, let's not do that. Let's actually... We built this city. Nee-nee. We built this city on rock and roll. That song is fucking awful. No, no, that no, no. That song is no, awful. No, no. It you was, take that back. It was literally VH1's you worst. You know what? VH1 doesn't know shit. Worst song VH1 of the VH1 does 80s. not know shit. That song v- sucks. No. We built the city on rock and roll, and guess what? It's not a fucking rock and roll song. It's I a pop song. I do agree with you with that. But that song's fucking good. great. Synthesizers. <laughs> I'm gonna walk off this podcast. I, you know, I was joking about Half Life earlier, but I'm dead serious about this one. I that know you're dead sucks. serious. <sighs> it's a bad song. No. All right. I like it. It has it has childhood meaning to me. That's why I like. Were it. you building cities on rock and roll? No, but I'd kid? go when I was like. Four or five, I'd go over to my uncle's house, and he had like a super awesome. That, that sounded bad. My <laughs> parents would go over to my uncle's house, who also had a swimming pool. That with the family, sound, that that where my family bad. went over to my uncle's house, and he had this huge stereo system, <laughs> and he would play that, and I would just run all over the place, play with the dog, and listen to that song and rock out. That doesn't make it a good song, though. So, on that note, remember just uh, Google us on. Google. I almost Google us on Facebook. Google us on Google, 3 Hit Combo Podcast. You're going to find everything. Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, GPX, blog. And How many of you like we built this city? Yeah. Write you know us what? on our Twitter and Facebook. Twitter, Facebook, email us at 3 Hit Combo Podcast, gmail.com, and tell us if you like we built this city. If you actually want to participate in this, if more people... Li- oh, fuck. All right. I'll do this for the podcast. If more people like it than not like it, I will let Matt slap me. Like it than not like it? Yeah, if more people like We Built This City, like legitimately think it's a good song, than not like it. You, you know you're just going to have people now say they like it, so I can slap you on the podcast. No, no, no. If more people like it, you won't. Okay. If, if... more people don't like it, you will slap me. So I'm going to slap we you. we will record it and put it on Facebook. And like I said, I will do it for the podcast. But I fucking love that song. Well, email in. I guess if they do like it, you can slap me. Twitter, Facebook, email. I don't even think people email nowadays. Facebook's easier for them. Yeah. Facebook at facebook.com slash 3 combo podcast or tweet at us at twitter.com slash 3 combo PC. Which I now try to actively use. Yes, you do. That is the number three PC stands for podcast. So, for Andy and his crappy taste of music, <laughs> this is Matt signing out. Thank you.